Welcome to the Sub Battles 2023. I am here with Daniel Lyson. Sit down, you big, big boy. Because <laughs> 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 I didn't even think he's fucking. Wow, so official. Yeah, I can do it. You gotta make the answer short and sweet. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. Straight to the point. Take that up on that too. Hi guys and girls and welcome to the Sub Battles 2023 interviews. I am here with the legendary Daniel Lysons. I've got a couple of questions for you, short, sweet answers. What advice would you give to anyone starting calisthenics right now? Uh, always starting with basics. Never try to immediately do what the elite athletes are doing, what the highest level athletes are doing in the competitions. They all went through the conditioning stage, which is added, added for example, basics only for a year straight, even more so. That gave me a good mm. uh, starting point to enter the freestyle world. Good foundation, better starting point. How would you deal with the stress in the week leading up to the event? Although I'm kind of away. Um, for me, it's always been that you gain confidence from the preparation. So yeah. I just usually try to uh, be as smart uh, with my preparation, work as hard as I can during the prep week, and that tends to take away the stress for the competition. Making it as efficient as possible, yeah. reassuring yourself. Yeah. So, in your whole career, which is a long one, one of the longer ones out there in the Cali in the, in the Cali world, would you have gone back and changed anything? Is there any moment that you thought to yourself, I, sh I should have changed that? Or I should have done it differently? Maybe I could give you an answer, but I never think like that. It's not my way of thinking. I never think like what could I have possibly? You don't have regrets on the yeah. situation. You just, if it happened to happen. Yeah, like I reflect and think like, what could I have done better or yeah. differently, but yeah. it's never like, oh, I regret anything specific or whatever. Like I just, I'm trying, trying to avoid that mindset. Yeah, not wasting your energy on that. Exactly. So name in your long career of 10 to 11 years, what are the top three happiest moments of your life? Correct. Uh, one of them is definitely winning my first world champion title, which was 2017, mm. because uh, it was a long journey for me, you know, at, like 2015, I, I was in the third place. Yeah. Next year, I was in the second place, and then I reached the, the first place, like step by step, year by year, you know, so it took me three years just to move from the podium no to the first place, so, so that's definitely one of them. Uh, one of the other moments would be probably like a group of moments whenever people come up to me in real life. Yeah, and they say that I've changed their lives, and that because of me, they become a better person, a healthier person. Yeah. yeah, just having that strong of a positive influence on yeah. someone when they tell you that in real life. I mean, that's my fuel. Right? Yeah. Have you had any serious injuries in your training career? Um, I've been successfully avoiding injuries, to be honest. Uh, I had a I had a wrist injury that lasted for three months once, mm -hmm. which was due to doing handstands without a proper warm up, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. since I'm doing one arm handstands a lot yeah. on my right wrist. Yeah, I have a feeling it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of pressure, you know. And um, other than that, not not really. I had a had something in my abs which lasted for like two weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, other than that, no, 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 no. nothing serious. So where do you see yourself? in Cali in five years, because I know we've been talking about this. Let's shorten the next two years for you, because I know that one year for you is quite intense. Are you still competing? Yeah, I think still competing. Like, I think I, I had a decent break, you know? Yeah. This is my first year after a three to four year break from competing, so I think in two in the next two years, I'm only going to be accelerating in the competition. So we're just going to see more and more of you competing now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually, I'm actually I feel like I'm, if not in my prime, then I'm getting closer, to, closer and closer to it by the day. So I think that I'm fully capable, you know. I think that like mentally and physically, I'm ready to take that kind of pressure that comes with competing. You know, so pretty much, because I know for the fact that the world wants to see you back. Daniel, that was it for the interview. Yeah. Thank you a bunch for Thank you for having me.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Safe, safe, safe. No, the this shit. So, the news anchor guy did his thing. It's impossible. At the end, it's impossible, you know? You think that there are people who answer like the girl before. And then is, we are going to take papers, we are going to take randomly the papers and say your name. We were going out for the like, <laughs> 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 light settings are ass here, wait. Sorry guys, I'm doing a video. Too much, too much, too much box. Too box, too box. Mm -hmm. oh.
45 seconds. Are you ready, bro? Okay, let's get it. Un fuerte río para la alta, ¡vamos!
좀 실수로 많이 해요. 
much for your support. Thank you for the love. I appreciate every single one. I'm going to be cameraman for a second. Hold on. Hey Daniels, you see that? Hey, what the hell, bro? That's so dope. What was the answer? Victoria. Good job. That was really cool. Poli, oh oh, chicos, un aplauso para Daniel, va. Oh no, increíble, tío. Yo, let's see those specs. Yeah. I also make a couple of things. Swag! <laughs> this is crazy. I'm, I'm just like, I ain't fucking. Thank you so much. No problem. I think I'm behind doing an idiot thing. I'm behind like this, bro. You're the, you're the real paparazzi. Yeah. yeah, I'm the paparazzi guy. I'm the, the, like, the, 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 sorry. The, the behind the scenes. Paparazzi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> The meet and greet. Still got a lot of people left. Rodri, ¿qué tal? Increíble. How's the bodybuilding? The, the bodyguard work? Eh, fine, just fine. Doing I'm a little bit short, but. <laughs> I don't have any more right now, so these are these were the last ones that I have. So enjoy. Yeah, but you need even you win or even you lose, you you are you are a great inspiration. You need to put them to use. You understand? Dice que lo usa. Tiene que usarlo. Ahora tiene presión de usarlo. I, I've been holding the camera for 16 minutes for this. <laughs> a ver. La que, te, la que me eché yo con él en 2015. Esta, oh, okay. this, real, let's see, let's see, let's this real photo, bro. Yeah. Yo, Kid Daniels. <laughs> Not so Kid Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> Daniels. <laughs> Daniels, you're going to want to see this. Check this out. Bro, I know. I saw that. I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? that? Bro, can you take me a photo? No, it's in Madrid, bro. Yes, bro. Yeah. I told you you legit see that shit. Seven years. Seven years. Glad to see you here. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna. Let's do a redo, but let's see the original photo as well. We're gonna see the original and then go back and do it again. Mm -hmm. Seven years ago. Same city. That, that one, yeah. I've been holding this for 23 minutes, bro. We can bounce soon. Yeah, no, I don't think there's much, many yeah. people left. Bro, no, he's, for, he's my dad, he's 45, and do the front flip in Pivas. Yeah. The one that I tried? Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Yo, Daniels. His photos came out with your face looking like the fucking. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel, bro? You ready? Exhausted. Relax. Um, exhausted. Proud. But not satisfied. Well, that's a good thing, though, because that means you want to go compete again. Exactly. You aren't satisfied, you want to go do it again and again and again. Bye, Bye Jesse. <laughs> I'm gonna go for McDonald's because that's the only thing that's open right now. Or a kebab. Because <laughs> oh, you don't have to do shit anymore, you're just competing Nike and Rest. Alright, let's get some. Yeah, I don't want any of them. Yeah, bro, take care. Also, I have a question. Alright, so that was Daniel's meet and greet, guys. Sorry, sorry. Like, um, you know.